is time for Ryan's Roses here. This is a public service. If you think someone has cheated on you, and a lot of us think that, but we don't want to admit it. That's the thing, because you don't want to be the fool. But don't live in fear. Don't go into it thinking. Ellen, we you're... do not live otherwise. Uh, oh, it's always fear-based. <laughs> so true. Right? We do not live not in fear. Is that really what it's like to be single? Are you afraid all the time? Well, don't act like oh, you have a mighty superpower. No, I'm, don't, I'm not. I just did, I didn't know that it, there was so much fear. I just think that in general. I, I know listen, that you have fear. Well, I, I didn't know that. Tanya, I didn't know it was we, We've hosted this show for how many years 10, now? 11 years 11 now. Years. Yes. Do you not think I would have fear after making all these Ryan's Roses well, calls? Yes, there, but I mean, so much also, badness. we could flip it and do the non-Roses. No one would listen. Into the show. <laughs> You're right. Uh, all right. It's time for our public service, Ryan's Roses. Let me get Brandy on the phone. Brandy sent us an email. Brandy said, uh, Ryan and Ellen, I've been visiting a psychic for a few years now, and every time I go, she's always right about something. Mm. She once told me my sister was going to get some extra cash. My sister got a promotion two days later. Wow. Last week, the psychic started giving me details about my husband that you just can't make up. I would, this would worry me. Like, I've thought about going to a psychic. My yeah. buddy actually went to a psychic, whom we should call Steve. We'll call him later. Oh, you okay. Uh, Did so, he go for his love life? I don't know why. Oh, okay. But he told me, I, I was like, hey, do you want to have lunch over the weekend? He's like, I'm on my way to my psychic. I'm like, okay, bye. And I hung up. Oh, I thought, wait, what? <laughs> That's such an LA thing, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't but know. so, yeah. no, I think they have him everywhere. We had him in Druid Hills <laughs> back in Georgia. So uh, last week, the psychic started talking about the husband. Now, that would, I get it, worry you. So she said, uh, the psychic said, your husband has eyes for someone else. He's torn and doesn't know what to do. Oh, come She's on. She's never been wrong, so I'm taking this very seriously. Brandy, how long have you gone to the psychic? How many times, and what's the return rate on the being correct? Yeah, you know what? I've actually been seeing her for a little over three years now, and she's got a pretty good re uh, track record going. I mean, um, for example, uh, before I was pregnant, she uh, told me that I was going to be adding to my family, and uh turns out that, like, I was pregnant, and she said it was going to be a male, and it was a boy. Um, that's a big one. Like, babies are big ones. So she, she nailed the baby one. Um, she also, you know, I had a good close friend at the time who um, she predicted that we were going to have a bit of a fallout. Um, and basically, I had asked my best friend if she could be the godmother of my baby. And um, she said, no, it was too much responsibility. And we actually had a very huge fallout. We're fine now, but she predicted that this was going to be really, really hard. Now, well, let's I know, not talk about her. What about you and your husband? Are there any other signs? Well, I mean, he's, you know, it's the typical stuff. He's coming home late. Um, he's on his cell phone all the time. We're not as close. We're not as intimate. Um, I, it's hard to connect with him. And when she told me that he has eyes for someone else and that, you know, he's torn in his heart. I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is like my biggest fear coming to life right now. You know? Yeah, and here's I'm the thing. If I'm a psychic, I don't know that I'd be telling you stuff about your husband cheating on you because you may not come back. Oh, I mean, that's yeah, like a, right. That's like, a, like if you're a psychic, do you filter what you say because you got to mm -hmm. keep your business open, too? I'm just thinking out loud. Yeah. Uh, so, well, I mean, uh, you're paying for results too, right? You want to yeah. know. I mean, hopefully, if they see uh, if they see something coming your way, I mean, we've had friends of mine have gone and they've been, you know, they she's done her psychic thing and it's worked. Like, oh, you're going to be in a car wreck, and they were in a car wreck. And no, God, I mean, like that's that, the kind of so stuff that I don't scary. know. I, I mean, I guess that could save someone's life, but let, let's stick with okay. your husband here. Right. So basically, she has said, "Hey, there's, I feel something that's going on with your husband. I feel like he's got eyes for another woman. It, that's all we got. That's what we know." That's all I know is that he, and I just know that in the pit of my stomach, that's like the biggest fear. And I've been just feeling him pulling away and distant. And when she says that he's conflicted in his heart, like he's torn in his heart, what does that mean? What's all that right, about? All right, all right. Let me ask you, how long have you been married? A little over three years. Any kids? We do. We have a little boy. So I brought Patty in here. Now, Patty's going to ask, uh, you know, who, who do you want to send some roses to? Find out what's on the card and we'll see what we can learn. But, Brandy, I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call, then then whatever his name is on KISS FM. Ryan, you have my permission to call on KISS FM. And that's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, be very quiet. We want to find out all we can about what's going on in your husband's head. It may be nothing because, it, you know, the psych, we'll see how, how credible the psychic is here. All right. Okay. Hang, hang on. Here we, we're dialing him now. Okay.
Hello? May I speak to David? This is David. David, hi, my name is Vanessa, and I'm calling from Flowers for Any Occasion on Catella Avenue. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you so much for taking my call this early in the morning. I'm actually calling you because you've been chosen to receive a free dozen roses. I'm calling five people here in the area, and you're one of them. And I'd like to offer you a free dozen roses that you can send to whoever you want today at no cost to you. All I ask is if you can just go ahead and refer me to your friends and family. And um, they're completely free. Uh, wait, how, so how did you get my number? How did, how did this happen? You, um, I got them through the yellow pages. I don't know. I mean, it seems that your number is, it's, it's, um, it's a public number. Well, no, that's true. Uh, so, wait, so you're saying it's, when you said free roses, you, you mean free, like, uh, I don't understand, like. They're completely, yeah, I mean, just what it, what it means. They're free. I'm only, um, I'm only doing this to five customers. They get okay. a free bouquet today only. So it's only for today. And you can send them to whoever you want today. And no cost oh. to you. I'm not asking oh. you for any information. All I okay. ask is just to go ahead and refer me to your friends and family. Right, so I don't have to give you a credit card number. No, no credit card number. Um, it's completely, completely free, including okay, the well, delivery. Let, uh, well, let me ask you this. I have some friends that I could refer, but I mean, and I'm not going to get like emails or anything. Or I don't have your email I... address. Okay. Well, no, I didn't know if I had to give it at the end. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not going to ask you. Do that. Okay. I'm only going to ask you three questions. It's just a person. Uh, give me the name and address of the person we're going to send them to, and then whatever okay. you want to put on that note. Okay. Um, the person I want to give them to, um, and and they're they complete. You're saying, and no matter what, at the end of the conversation, it's going to be completely free, and nobody's going to. I'm not going to get any kind of information from you guys. Not at all. Okay. They're so, quite- and and you need three questions. You need to know who they're for. And just the address and, and, and what to say? Correct. I mean, okay. obviously, I need to know who we're going to send the flowers to. Yeah. Um, and we can keep you anonymous if you like. You know, you want to surprise oh, somebody. If you want to um, surprise somebody and oh, know, really? make them wonder okay. who it could be. Yeah, that's a thought. You know, um, well, I, I'll tell you what. Send them, uh, send them to my wife, Brandy. That's Brandy with an I. Um, and tell her that uh, I, her husband loves her. That's not, so you want white or red roses? Hey, David, it's Ryan Seacrest and Ellen Kay. I want you to know your voice is being broadcast on the radio right now. Hi. Well, we oh. have we have your your wife Brandy is on the phone. <laughs> what's Hi, Dan. What's so funny, Brandy? I'm like, do you have a stuttering problem? Was it so hard what? to decide that you're going to send roses to your wife? That's what you I was wondering. If you, wife. we don't want to know what was the. Why were you so hesitant in you sending these guys, flowers to your wife? That's being a little hard. Well, it's not being harsh. It is. David, Come David, on. David, what was going on? Why were you so sketchy about sending them to your wife? Well, I thought I won something for a minute when you called. Um, I, I, no, I wasn't sketchy. I just, it's weird because in this day and age, nobody, you don't get anything for free. Well, you're not getting anything end. for free here either, but you did hesitate when but it David, came to sending flowers. But I understand his hesitation. He was hesitant about the whole offer. I, I don't think it was about who to send them to. I, I totally, totally didn't hear that in his voice. I heard what Brandy heard, which was why not step up and probably send know. them to his wife. Brandy, uh, Brian, no, I think you're making I things think- worse. You know, well, I thought that they were going to, at the end, say, "Oh, we'll just need a credit card number for information for whatever reason." Well, okay, but 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 David, well, let me ask you something here. Let, yeah. I'm just going to cut to this. Okay, there's a reason that we're all together. Brandy went to a psychic. I don't know if you know she sees a psychic, and the psychic tells her that you have eyes for someone else, and in your heart you're conflicted. Is there any what? truth? Is is there any truth to that? No, there's no truth to that, Ryan. No. I only hesitated because I figured at the end they were going to bait and switch me, and I really wanted it to be a surprise for her, so I didn't want her to get a heads up that I was mm. sending roses. But I mean, Pat, you know, but Patty said you can send them anonymously, and you said that's a thought. Yeah, yeah, well, well, that's call, sketchy to me. I was going to call and surprise her, you know. All right, all right, David. Uh, just are You're you sh- cheating on your wife? <laughs> no. Okay, well that's the reason we're on the phone. Yeah, Randy, do you oh. believe him? I, I just feel like there's something there that needs to be dealt with, and I don't know what it is. And Are you David, thinking of another woman, David? Is there someone on the horizon? Is there anybody else? Someone captured your heart? No. Uh, no. Maybe okay. you're not cheating, but you're flirting? 
you've been away. You don't, we don't connect. We don't talk. I mean, and she, she predicted our son. She predicted my fallout with my friend. She predicted my friend's husband's car accident. I mean, she's got a good track record. So like, a lot of those are coincidences. I mean, all my brothers have boys. So, you know, having a son, is not too far of a stretch. So David, do do you love your wife and there's no one else? Yeah, that's true. Right, I love right, my wife. So that's why I said it to the flowers. You guys, if I was really that, why wouldn't I just send it to somebody else? If I really thought they were anonymous, nobody ever find out, why wouldn't I just send it to somebody else? Well, because we thought else? maybe for a second you were going to do that. So, Brandy, you and your husband here need to sit and look each other in the eye and, and have a conversation if you still doubt it. But uh, that's the best we can do, okay? I'm going to let you both go. I have a problem with myself right now. Why? Why? Because you called and did a roses for we the psychic. This, uh, exactly. <laughs> like, we're, we're going to do what we just did. Right. And, and by the way, I had to take it seriously because I actually wanted David to hear my tone. Uh-huh. Because if he had something to fess up to, I wanted to fess up to it. But the fact that we're actually making a call because a psychic <laughs> said he has eyes for someone else and is conflicted in the heart, bad on us. Well, but uh, Brandy said that there were other signs. But Ellen, I do need to just explore the psychic thing a little bit more. I know... That a lot of you and, and some of my friends subscribe to it, and frankly, I've thought about it myself. But for her to say that and us to then think that he's cheating, it's just not enough there for me. Okay.